Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to create a tunnel um, going through something uh, for your mini golf course. So um, what we're gonna do first is, is we're gonna create a sketch. We're gonna take a look at the top plane on this and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep things um, a little bit challenging on this. I do wanna give my golfers the ability to possibly put their ball through the mountain, through a tunnel in order to possibly get to this um, <clears throat> putting green. So, um, you know, keeping it challenging, I might actually kind of tuck it over here. Uh, so people have to kind of think about, well, how many strokes is it going to take me to get through the mountain to the putting green? Or do I just shoot across the bridge and then go about this way? And maybe I'll even add another obstacle here. I don't know. Whatever. So let's go ahead and let's create this sketch. I think I messed something up here. Let's go let's create a sketch on this. Okay, so I'm gonna say I want to create a spline. And I'm gonna say that my spline is gonna start here. I'm gonna keep it somewhat horizontal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, maybe make this a little bit more interesting. Okay, put a bend in it. So maybe they really have to put a little something behind it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, when I get to the end of my spline, I'm gonna go ahead and just double click it to finish my spline and then green check it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at this in the isometric view. Now what I'm gonna do is come here to plane and then I have more choices underneath offset. I'm going to be finding point normal. So I'm gonna come here to the end. I'm gonna find that point on the end of that spline and then I'm gonna come over here to this surface here and I'm basically referencing that saying, hey, this is, you know, what I want to look like uh, on the end of that point. And it looks like that didn't work. Okay, and I figure out why. All right, so uh, that didn't work because I used the wrong one. So I'm gonna pick plane. I'm gonna say plane point, that's what I wanted. And I'm gonna pick on this actual point at the end of the spline and then reference this edge right here. And when I do that, we'll see if that work plane comes in, I green check it. All right, so now what I wanna do is um, create a sketch on this plane and green check it. And now I'm gonna to come to that sketch, right click, and I'm gonna come here and pick on section view. All right, I'm going to green check that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and right click on that last sketch and say edit. Now I'm gonna look at this from this side. And what I should be able to do is to use use, and I should be able to find that point, and there it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle starting from that point. And now you have to start thinking, what size of the tunnel do you want this to be? So you don't want it to be so small. It's going to be hard for the ball to get through there, but you don't want it to be too large where it's easy. So I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm going to be making this an 8-inch diameter hole. I'm going to draw a line from quadrant point here to quadrant point here. And I'm going to go ahead and use trim and trim out the bottom portion of this. I'm gonna go ahead and green check that, take a look at this in the isometric view. And now what I'm gonna do is use sweep to grab this profile. I'm gonna pick on the red box for the sweep path and then actually pick on the spline. But the thing is, it does not need to be an add. It needs to be a remove since it is going through the mountain. So I'm gonna go ahead and just green check it. And when I do that, you're gonna see if there is now a tunnel, okay, going through, okay, my mountain. All right, so that's how you would create the tunnel Okay, for any sort of obstacles that are in the way.